Double entry accounting is a bookkeeping system. It says that every accounting entry must have an opposite corresponding entry in a different account. Debits and credits are the words we use to reflect each side. This idea is more than 500 years old. It was first documented by an Italian mathematician called Luca Pacioli in his book, Summa de Arithmetica. The concepts in this book helped spark the rise of modern capitalism and earned Luca a new name, the father of accounting. You see, up to this point, most businesses had been single entry accounting. In single entry accounting, every entry is recorded once in a cash account. When a business receives cash, it records revenue. And when it pays cash out, it records an expense. The difference is a profit or a loss. This can be summarized on a financial statement called the income statement. I tell you this to highlight a problem. Large companies often buy and sell things on credit. They also own stuff like equipment and they owe stuff like loans. It's hard to capture all of this information using only the one cash account. What these businesses need is a balance sheet, a separate financial statement that gives a snapshot of their assets and liabilities at a point in time. Luca came to the rescue and solved this with one simple formula. He said that assets are equal to liabilities plus equity. A business owns assets and it owes liabilities to third parties and equity to its owners. This is the accounting equation and it always has to balance. Let's say a business takes out a $500 loan from a bank. What happens? Well, the business received cash, which it owns, so its assets go up. And at the same time, it records a loan payable to the bank. It owes this to a third party, so its liabilities go up too. The accounting equation stays perfectly balanced. How do debits and credits come into this? In double entry accounting, we don't only think about cash in and cash out. We think in debits and credits. These terms reflect the double-sided nature of transactions. Debits always go on the left side of an account and credits go on the right. So if a business borrowed $500 from a bank, we debit its cash account to reflect the increase in assets. And at the same time, we credit loans payable to record a liability on the other side. By double entry accounting, a business can record its assets, liabilities and equity in different accounts. Now it can measure its revenue and expenses in an income statement and its assets, liabilities and equity on a balance sheet.